you got a whole bunch of holes and all that money is seeping through and going to somebody else. So what do the retailers need to do to um, make that available for their customers though? Well, so if you got a size, sorry to cut you out, but yeah, if you go got a, if you if you need a size eleven shoe and it's that particular shoe is not mm -hmm. available at DSW, mm -hmm. what can DSW do to cater to that consumer and not lose that money? Customer service. Mm. This is another thing Baby, that I love. Let's talk about customer let's, service. Woo, 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 let's <laughs> speak on it. Okay, because customer service. So if you have really good retail people or sales associates that's walking that floor and if they see you standing in front of a shoe frustrated and they don't ask you hey can i help you did you need this shoe in a size and then don't offer so an extension of that is that a lot of retailers are now where you can order stuff online at the store because they have backstop in a warehouse somewhere but it might not necessarily be readily accessible at the store but it takes a customer service person yeah. to actually come over and initiate you because a lot of customers are just going to be frustrated to leave the store. Right. They're not going to come up to the front and say, hey, can you find this shoe for me? Can I order this online? I have it shipped to me. About 8 out of 10 customers are not going to do that. They're just not. They're just going to leave the store or look it up online or just let me just find another shoe. Because, you know, we're living in that microwave society where you've got 30 seconds to get someone's attention. Patience is short. People don't take the time to shop and look for stuff like they used to. If they can't get it online or if they can't get it right there really accessible in the store, they moved on to something else. Yeah. So your customer service really has to be at top of the game. And honestly, retail customer service is shit. It's Excuse horrible. my French. It is shit. I mean... Yeah, it's shit. I mean, it is one. Oh, I can curse on here. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Because it's <laughs> I'm just saying. But it is. I mean, and that's one of the, I mean, and that's hard. I mean, and I know, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a problem across the board. Even sometimes, you know, with my own company, customer service sometimes can be lacking, you know. But if you're not there to catch that customer in that moment, if you're not paying attention to your customers in the store, then you're going to lose them. So customer service is Yes, because once is. again, we go back to point number one, our customers are smarter. So if you're not paying attention to me, I'm not going to stay here. I'm not going to give you my money. You don't care. Right. Yeah. And I also, I've noticed that um, just looking at like the larger corporations, the larger companies uh, versus the smaller companies, I believe that the smaller companies are more or of community oriented. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably another route that yeah. you know the DSWs and the Macy's mm -hmm. and the larger um, retailers, yeah. Nordstrom, that they don't have. Yeah, they don't have yeah. that community inviting, right, welcoming spirit. Right. So sometimes because I like we're fact, losing that. We're yes. lo we're losing that culture. Yes. We're losing the mom and pop. Yeah, we, we're losing that because yes. once again, the Amazons, the Microsofts, the you know they're they're killing the game. They're taking over. I mean, we'll just take Payless. Payless was one of our hugest competitors. No joke. You know, shoe deal. They're right there at our price point. They sold. They weren't as trendy as we were, but they sell very similar styles. Especially when we get to the classic styles and the classic boots that we have at Shoe Deal, they were really a direct competitor. Um, and when they decided to close their doors, and now all of their stuff is where? On Amazon. Mm. So, that was like, um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, for real, like, you really have to pay attention. Like, so if you're a competitor, and, you know, Payless was a multi-million dollar company. Yes. I, I was a I'm a lover, you know. I was a lover of Payless. I mean, I got a lot got a lot of shoes from Shoe Deal, but I got a lot of shoes from Payless mm -hmm. too. So it's like when they decided to close their doors, that's a wake up call. Yeah, it's that's happening. a wake up call. Yeah. And so if you are not, and they had online shopping, they had where you could purchase in the store and have it shipped to you. All those things I just talked about, they had all those things, and then they still decided to close their doors. So. You know, if you are, if you know, brick and mortar is gonna have to have to step the game up. They have to. Yeah. And let's talk about the stats. Okay. Now that you brought up uh, mm -hmm. Payless, mm -hmm. Payless actually closed twenty five hundred stores. Mm -hmm. 
which is all of the stores they had. Mm -hmm. um, Charlotte Roos closed 520. Mm -hmm. They are done. Mm -hmm. um, Forever 21 just recently filed bankruptcy, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they closed 178 stores. Mm -hmm. Are they going to? Dress Born. Baby. Now, that I hurt, was that shocked. Hurt, that hurt my heart. They hurt my heart. I was shocked. But but dress barn, but you gotta understand with dress barn, they're they're direct because you know I'm plus size. Well, shout out to the plus size hey. girls. <laughs> so dress barn is the direct competitor of Torrid, uh Lane Bryant. Uh you got and then uh New York and Company just rolled out their uh fashion figure, which is almost like a fashion nova meets meets uh, New York and Company for plus size females. So I know all the really great companies are so dress barn had this little niche of you know elderly and i'm not they had some cute stuff don't get my wrong but they they don't cater to generation x and down millennials zen x you know generation z that's not the demographic I don't so as so we get older and die off dress barn's gonna get older and die off they tried i actually wrote that dress barn for like two months did you <laughs> the pay was horrible but we're gonna talk about that later yeah uh <laughs> bookmark Mm. The sad bar. Mm. Look at <laughs> But um, I like the fact that they actually partnered with the plus size model. Is her mm. name Ashley or something? Oh, yeah, the white girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. They partnered with her for her own line for mm. plus size. But it was like literally five pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the rest of the stuff, like you said, it's it's more of a Easter theme throughout the entire major, year. Matronly. Some of the stuff can be very matronly. You really have to know how to go in there and choose. Yeah. You got you got to know how to choose stuff. And see, because yeah. sophisticated is one of my style motifs, I could go in there and find really good classic pieces. Yeah. But and then I could really find really good jewelry pieces every now and then. But it would be hard for me to go in there and get a whole outfit. Yeah. Because absolutely. they just don't. Everything just doesn't mesh together. Yeah. Oh, it right. reminds me so much of Easter. <laughs> On a consistent basis, yeah, though. yeah, because yeah. it's because that's matron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they uh, dress. Did I just whisper that? <laughs> that's matronly. Look at <laughs> dress woman just. Uh, they closed six hundred and fifty stores. Yeah, that that hurt my heart when I saw that. And yeah. even Victoria's Secret closed fifty three mm -hmm. stores. Pink ain't pink no more. Pink is <laughs> going into the red. That's because they have, like you said, competitors. Yeah. Online competitors, mm -hmm. they're selling the same type of merchandise yeah. for cheaper, for and cheaper. you don't have to drive yeah. to go get it. Yeah. Or you don't have to worry, well, you got to worry about shipping costs. But I think and we then, have to And way. also, not trying to be funny, I really feel like Victoria's Secrets, their brand has really gotten away from being for everybody. It's That was never for everybody. I, well, I feel like in the beginning, they tried. I mean... But it's it's. I feel like it's really become a lot more elitist. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Yeah, I think I can I never. Agree. I can never wear their stuff because I've always been a double D. And Same. So, so I think <laughs> you see a, a double D bride Victoria's Secrets is like a wire around my. That <laughs> just it's no lift. There's no. There's nothing going on. Do you see these girls? The, I need some support. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And that's the difference between, like you said, they only have supermodels in there. Right, yeah. Um, and a lot of women cannot relate. Well, you can't relate to that because Today. the average size woman is a 12. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah. <laughs> And then but, plus size in the you know in the industry. Twelve is plus size. I don't think they want to be for everybody though. And that's a good question to ask. Do you yeah. think companies have the right to say we don't want to be for everybody? We we have a specific yeah. demographic yeah. that we want to cater yeah. to. Okay. You have the right. You have the right to be whatever you want to be. But just make sure that's a smart business decision. Because at the end of the day, you can't. It's impossible to cater to everybody. It just is. Yeah. At the end of the day, I, I tell I tell all my clients all the time, do what you do well, period. You know what I'm saying? It's not up to you to do it well for everybody. You can't be, what's the saying? Um, jack of all trades. Master to none. Master to none. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got to think about it. If you for everybody, can you keep up with that demand? No. No, it's, it's, not, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. So it's okay to have a niche. I mean, I feel like Shoe Deal has a niche. You know what I mean? We, we're, our niche is trendy. 
fashionable stuff. We do sell classic boots, classic styles that stay consistently, you know, throughout the but. But we're known for our trendy stuff. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. we're known for. Absolutely. We're known for the hot shit. We're known for, you know, the knockoff Gucci, Gucci sneakers and the knockoff, you know, uh, Valencia boots. You know, that's what we're known for. But even some of the things that I have picked up at shoe deals, you can't even get at these uh, major retailers or, you know, major designers. Yeah. It's a, use, it's a unique shoe. Right. That is only catered at shoe, shoe deal. deal. Right. Okay, so you guys, we're going to take a short break and give a um, shout out to our sponsor and our official sponsor for the Three More Productions <laughs> fashion show. It's Shoe Deal. Yes, yes. So we're going to give a shout out to Shoe Deal. We'll be right back. 